Today we are going to be talking about the Eames Aluminium Group chairs, in particular the EA117 task chair and the EA107. These are quite possibly the most popular chairs in this range, but also unfortunately the most copied. What we would like to do today is show you a couple of significant details on the chairs that help you identify a genuine Eames product. We will find a sewn in Eames logo at the back of the chair. This bears the signature of Charles Eames and says Vitra the authorized original. If you look slightly further down on the back of the seat uh, of the backrest you will find that the seat spreader has no screws on either side. This is in copies very often the case as they do not have the same technology that we use to manufacture this chair. The whole chair is based on a tension principle where the seat upholstery becomes part of the structural element. This also brings us to the characteristic ribbed seat upholstery of the Eames chairs that on copies are very often sewed or stitched together. This is not something that you would find on an Eames Vitra chair as ours are done with a process called high frequency welding which also gives the great stability and our unique 30 years warranty on these chairs. Further to the bottom if you turn the chair over you will find a stamped in serial number, usually a Vitra sticker with a few code numbers on it and part numbers on it and quite possibly another Eames sticker with the signature of Charles Eames. All in all there's two finishes for the aluminium chairs. One is chromed which is the mirror-like appearance and what's very often considered to be the classic finish, a polished aluminium finish, which has a slightly duller look. For the task chairs, it is worth mentioning that the, on the right hand side you will find a piano screw, which is a chrome capped big screw that has a stamped in vitra logo. This only applies for chairs with height adjustment. The aluminium chairs were originally um, done for an industrialist in America called Charles Irwin and the work was prompted by a close friend of the Eames, Mr. Alexander Girard, who got the brief to develop outdoor furniture for the house that matched the interior furniture. The aluminium group never made it as outdoor furniture really, but since it has then become one of the most iconic pieces of post-war um, furniture that we have today.